So, apparently this went from safe to keto presumed neutralized. Damn. <laughs> it went through a lot. <laughs> Alright. Next SCP is SCP-2480. Item SCP-2480, object class, presume neutralized. Special containment procedures. Class A, B, and C M96 may be used at the discretion of field agents. Foundation personnel have been integrated with the community surrounding SCP-2480 as quarantine or relocation of inhabitants have been deemed unfeasible. Consider the best source of information for SCP-2480 anomalies. Agents are to make local inquiries and investigate any rumors, reports, or claims of an anomalous nature. Mobile Task Force Epsilon-6 Village Idiots have infiltrated the community and are, and are to remain on the lookout for anomalous manifestations. Mobile Task Force PSI-9 Abyss Gazers is to remain on standby in case of an, an animation event. Use of force that has been authorized and anomalous manifestations are to be destroyed without prejudice. <laughs> Description SP2480 is speculated to be a dimensional anomaly located in Redacted, Massachusetts, a coastal and heavily forested town with just over 9,000 residents. Right, there's a lot of shit cut out. <laughs> SP2480 appears to be centered around. Bodfell Manor, home of the late Cornelius P. Bodfell III, P. 1866 to a birth, 1886, death, 1952. Shut the fuck up, opera. Anyways, millionaire industrialist with an acute interest in the occult. Prior to his death, Bodfell was the leader of the secret society known as the as Adentium's Wake. Dismissed by the Foundation in 1932 as simply being a decadent upper-class social club, their anomalous capabilities were not recognized until November 28, 1952 incident. Due to the critical failure of their mission, there were no surviving GOC operatives to be properly interrogated. However, documents were subsequently recovered from a GOC safe house located and redacted. It appears that the GOC attempted to destroy these documents prior to their mission. A torn report, lower half missing, with a photograph attached via paperclip, was discovered in the back of a fireplace along with a significant ash. It is assumed that, that all other documents have been incinerated. And that's, that's the only photo, in case you can see it. Yeah, threat ID... KTE-0452-black-Grand dash dash black dash Grand Carcist Ion. Authorized response level 4. Sphere threat. Liquidation pending. Description. KTE-0452-black, hereafter referred to as subject, is a humanoid threat entity of a variable difference. I mean, that difference appearance. Why did I say difference? Anyways. Subject most often appears in priestly vestments and carrying a staff. Subject is able to disappear and reappear at will, shape and manipulate organic material, bend reality, and is hypothesized to be biologically immortal. While subject is classified as humanoid, they are not believed to be human. Whether they ever were is still debatable. Psychological profile indicates malignant narcissism and megalomania. Such is believed to have aided in the creation of circ circuit cults throughout most much of the world. Oh. That's great. It has been verified that GOC operatives intended to assassinate person of interest dash 93 as person in of interest 93 was not discovered among the dead. It can be surmised that the GOC did not achieve their primary goal. The financial became aware of SCP-2480 after intercepting and decoding a GOC distress broadcast, promptly sending an investigative team. 36 corpses were found scattered throughout the estate, eight of which later identified as GOC operatives. All but five displayed anomalous causes, cause of death, such as implosion, disintegration, and fatal physical reconfiguration. 
SCP-2480 is hypothesized to be a dimensional anomaly that cannot be directly perceived. This kinetohazardous effect interferes with perception in such a way that only the use of perception, altering chemicals, and or direct and sustained observation of its effects on local reality, it may be detected. Addendum. The investigation of Bodo Bodful Manor uncovered discerning evidence with regards to Cornelius P. Bodful III, an organization known as Ethitum's Wake. Based on several meticulously kept journals and a collection of photographs, Bodful and his followers would frequently host. Oh my god! I am not reading that. It included the no no touches, the <laughs> young no no touches, <laughs> ritual human unaliving, and eating of those who share the same flesh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I felt like that was good censorship. What would you say? Yeah, damn, that, that's good. <laughs> this... Well, now we know more of what we're getting into. <laughs> Discover with the channels where, where sermon notes and guest lists whose names have included affiliate families, respected politicians, leaders of industry, and even those of religious authority. Among Bodful's... <laughs> yeah, it's Catholics. Anyways. Oh my. <laughs> Among Bodful's belongings was a handwritten tome containing religious scripture. Shirls frequently referenced his book as the Volksaran. Or Volksaran, I'm guessing. The writing system has yet to be deciphered. The Grand Hall contains a marble statue depicting an entity with a leonine head and vermiform body. The statue was later studied by Dr. Judith Lowe, senior advisor of the, at the Department of History, Religious, GOI Threats Analysis, and confirmed it to be the representation of the Demiurge among the certain Gnostic sects. Demiurge, also known as Yadabaoth, Sacklas, or Samuel, has no history of being presented with ref reference and is believed to be a figure of worship for Denton's Wake. At the base of the statue written in Greek are the words. I can't read Greek, so I'll read this. Desi <laughs> Desire is the measure of all things. Be unbound from moral tethers. Do as you will to whom you will. Oh, uh, for those who do not know what vermiform or leonine means, the statue basically had a lion head and a worm body. Yeah. In mid-1988, Simon Oswald, director of Site-13, oh god, Site-13, failed Very to- magical place. Yeah. <laughs> failed to send a biannual report to the on the state of SCP-2480, which had no reported changes since its original containment, and initially believing it to be a bureaucratic error, attempted to contact Site-13 directly without response. Initially, Agent oh. yeah, Agent Samuel Rowe and Agent Sarah Valentine were sent to investigate, but neither agent has since made contact, and their fate remains unknown at this time. Mole Task Force Epsilon 6 Village Idiots was dispatched to Redacted in order to reestablish contact with Site 13 and probably secure SV 2480. Members of NTF Epsilon 6 were able to successfully integrate themselves into the community as new residents or tourists. I highly doubt they're going to get this far into the article. Like the, the special shit. Well, that's true, but we could, like, look over it just to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to, like, read some of the footnotes? If you want. Right. Footnotes, alias, Carcist Soul Kick. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. Subject was never apprehended or recorded among the deceased and has since been classified as a person of interest. I do not believe this individual to be a historical, mythical, ion, mythical, but rather a pretender. Nevertheless, this 
Poseido Ion, continues to represent a high-level threat. Dr. Judith Lowe. Hey, Jerry, Dr. I know how to say that. It's pseudo. I thought I said pseudo. I uh, just, like, uh, slipped a lot before saying it. Ah, uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Some words I have uh, trouble saying. That's why it took me a few tries. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Document not recovered with KTE 0452 Black. Oh my, okay. The Foundation now has possession of a copy of this document due to the agreements involving with the Project Citra Arcra. The report was less extensive than previously assumed, but is currently being studied by Dr. Judith Slow, Senior Advisor at the Department of History, Religious GOI Threat Analysis. See SCP-2075 and SCP-2095 for presumably related anomalies. Self-influenced gunshot wounds were the cause of death for five out of the eight GOC operatives. That's their own fucking fault for fucking with things they shouldn't have. Yep. Mobile Task Force Epsilon 6 Village Idiots specialize in investigation, containment, and subsequent cleanup of anomalies in rural and suburban environments. <laughs> and, and evangelical Protestant movement that promotes procreation based primarily on Genesis 1 dash 2 8. I know that's not dash, I just don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> the two dots. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> which states, and God blessed them, and the God said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish with the earth. What's that have to do with a statue with a lion head and a worm body? <laughs> a nod, then, non three. Gira Peregrina, an earth earthiogen used in healing ceremonies and rituals, contains the perception enhancing chemical N N Diam O. I don't know what that is. Should I look it up very quick? If you want. Why not? It, 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 it'll probably help us understand the SCP better. All right, come on. Oh, it's DMT. What? Oh, it's DMT. Okay. Bad, I don't know that. <laughs> Let, let's just let's just say it's something you should not have injected in you. Oh, <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can find something that can dumb it down for me to read. There we go. A psychedelic drug and structural analog of tri... It's, it's basically related to a different drug and can be found in many plants and animals, including humans. It, it, it's, it's a drug. Ew. Don't kill CMP. Got it. <laughs> you know, I was trying to find something that could help me explain it, but I, I, I guess it's just, you know, it's a drug. Don't take it. It's bad. So, the people who made the worm lion statue was on drugs. Who would have thought? Yeah. Entity has been classified 
as an instance of SCP-2480-2, and are now con co collectively known as MTF as the behemoth. Skin disease characterized as thickening of keratin layer in fetal human skin. Oh, entity has since been classified as an instance of SCP-2480-3 and are now colloquially known as, uh, I mean, colloquially known among the MTF as Snatchers. Aramaic for the other side. Language unknown. Yeah. Uh, so I looked at the, the things. We've read all this. It would take really long. <laughs> they okay, added. Let's just, let, let's just go to the video. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure we know now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Sh... I highly doubt they're going to talk about this right here. <laughs> they might. You never know. All also, right. Let's see how many women are in the video because this article actually has quite a few women in it. Oh, yeah. All right, before I do that, Jerry, I'm going to upload a file in the, in the chat. Okay. And this will be the thumbnail where we judge whether or not the thumbnail is clickbait. I think we can already tell that's clickbait. What's the hell to do? Wait, no, that's the wrong one. There we go. Wait, Jerry, did you mute yourself? Oh, sorry, I, I didn't notice. <laughs> I just got so upset that I accidentally muted myself, I think. That has nothing to do with the SCP. Yeah. The only figure connected to the SCP does not look like that. The only figure connected to the SCP doesn't look like that. Even the statue does not look like that, and the statue looks fucking weird. I would love to see them try to, t to create an artwork in of indicating the statue. I would love to see their worm lion. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised none of you actually got surprised about being able to pronounce Yadabea correctly. When I usually fuck you know up what? words. You're a weird woman, I shrug. <laughs> yeah, it's I can... a difficult word, congratulations. You are very good at pronouncing. Yeah, I can... I can usually, I can say, like, majority of the Eldritch guys in SCP universe correctly. I can say their names correctly. Most of them. I don't know why. <laughs> so, are we giving this a four? Because one out of four is the rating. What is the highest one? Highest uh, is four. Lowest is one. We can also give us... Worse? Or lower or worse? Uh, highest is worse. Four. Yeah. That's clickbait. It's clickbait. Okay. Now, before we... Oh, wait, no, we're going back to the wrong one. Before we go to, go to it, let's see if they did it. Holy shit, they, they keep doing something rubber doesn't do. Which is put the license in the... Not only thing. Oh, wait. I got. I gotta get rid of the picture. Here we go. <laughs> they Lowest did it. Clap in the fucking world. So yeah. Also, before the video, just remember, everyone, DMT is bad. Avoid it. Yeah. So that means is that the score for removal of characters slash license is going to be a little bit lower because they oh, actually right. put the low, uh, license in. Let's just see if they put any of the women. <laughs> right. You see the video, right, Jerry? Yes. Okay, just make sure. Dr. Narvaez was sent to inspect the town to find out what was happening to Epsilon-6. Upon her suggestion, permission to administer DMT was authorized. DMT is considered what? a hallucinogen, but according to Dr. Narvaez's research, it's actually a perception enhancer. Upon what? administering the DMT and entering the town, she witnessed a yellow fog what? engulfing the city. People in dark hooded cloaks 
circulated among the locals, who kept their eyes down and avoided them. The buildings are dilapidated and covered in pulsating flesh. A black liquid <laughs> oozes through the drain. Is this the same article? <laughs> yes, it is. The center of town is replaced by a black ziggurat where the hooded people worship and prostrate. Her assistant, Dr. Wu, sees none of this. A large robed entity holds several creatures on a leash. They all have small eyes and needle-like teeth. What? Wu instead sees a teacher with students. The creatures start to attack the smallest of their pack, ripping it apart. Wu sees the children bullying another child. Narvaeus emptied her water bottle and bent down to fill it with the black liquid flowing through the drain. As the DMT wore off, she witnessed the black liquid disappear from her flask. The bottle was sent back to the foundation for analysis. Upon leaving the sphere of control of SCP-2480, the black liquid once again became visible. In mid-1988, Simon Oswald, director of Site-13, failed to send a biannual report on the state of SCP-2480. The foundation Believing it to be a bureaucratic error, attempted to contact Site-13 directly without response. Initially, Agent Samuel Rowe and Agent Sarah Valentine were sent to investigate. Wait, 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 wait. What year did they try to claim that this happened? What year? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Where it said Site-13, Site-13, Site-13. Yeah, I know the article doesn't... Mid-1988. Yeah, there were literally no... no nothing to show a cell phone like that. Ow. I don't know when cell phones were invented, but I do know if it was one of the ones, the earliest versions of a cell phone, it wouldn't have looked like that. Jerry, we're only two minutes in the video. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's <laughs> very inaccurate. Yeah. Let me look up first cell phones. Yeah, alright, before we do that. Also, we already got a four for added gore or violence. <laughs> yeah. Gore <laughs> 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 cells. <laughs> alright, 1973 was when cell phones were invented, so a cell phone could have been possible. But it would have looked like a clunky, thick mess. Not yeah. like a modern cell phone. Yeah. So that doesn't even make sense. Also, back then, what they used were typically not cell phones. It was, uh... <laughs> it was, uh, fax machines. Oh, yeah, I remember. I, yeah, fax I... machines would have been a lot better, especially for something like the SEP. Foundation because sending things like that over mail would have been bad. Yeah, because the TOC can intercept it, the Summer Sand can intercept it. Yeah, also, where is the DOC so far? The DOC oh, yeah. was the ones who started the mess. Yeah, they are not even mentioned. So that does count as removal of characters. But we haven't gotten through all the videos, so. Also, Bookworm said Gorso. Yeah. Alright, so let's continue it. Contact since Mobile Task Force Epsilon 6, known as the Village Idiots, was dispatched in order to re-establish contact with Site 13 and properly secure SCP-2. Is that Connor? Members yes, of Epsilon 6 were Connor. able to successfully <laughs> integrate themselves into the community <laughs> as new residents or tourists. Last night, I saw a man mowing his lawn at midnight. Strange behavior, but not itself an anomaly. This morning. I noticed the man staring me down Wait, at the fish market. Wait, I know who he is. He's from S SP Animated Tales. He's he got affected by SP one hundred six and survived. And he and he does look older than, than his age. So they're stealing a bunch of technically you have to we have to take more points off when it comes to SCP licenses because he's used two different characters that were not theirs without uh without referencing it. Yeah, no, not that kind of bookworm. It's from. A series that got destroyed for good reason. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm saying, uh... Yeah. 
both characters, they're from different SVT series, right? Yeah, this guy is supposed to be Ancient Lawrence. And I think yeah, he's... that means they should be licensed in the bottom as well. Oh, yeah. Even if it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, yeah. It doesn't reference it. Yeah. Um, also, he would... If I'm correct, he's part of Ninetale Fox, which is not stated in the article. <laughs> yeah. Let's continue. His eyes never blinked once. Can't get any sleep. Keep checking the damn peephole. Maybe Last night, decide to check it one more <laughs> sure. time. We're about a third of the way in, but we haven't actually heard anything factual about the SBC yet. <laughs> True! So, the check-in. The check-in is the only thing we've gotten that's from the article. The missed check-in. Yeah! Oh, they did include, like, two of the characters, though. Like, the... Yeah, but... Yeah. Accurately. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can say they didn't get rid of women characters. <laughs> so far, there's yeah. still other characters. There's more than one woman in the article. True. Before heading to bed, I saw a face. Couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. But as soon as I looked, they started to slam their head against the door. Yes. Thought they were playing a game, but as soon as they noticed me, they scattered, leaving behind what had their attention. It was a dead dog. This was different. Poor what critter was partially fuck? flayed and covered in bite marks, big chunks torn from it. Seven days without any word from GSF. <laughs> and there's Connor. The body said they had Why are they using Connor? The so much. We I don't think. Probably because he was popular like at the time. To exist. The air smelled of well, yes, but they didn't even the Oh, shit. They took it from. This character, I forgot his goddamn name. But from he's also from SP Animated, and he was like a site director. Oh. I recognize the way he looks. But he's also an also, asshole. Uh, bookworm said Connor, the android from Cyberlife. Yeah, they mentioned that earlier. I said no, Connor from SP Confinement, which we will not yeah. speak of. <laughs> yeah, that that ended badly. Yeah. I saw Grayson's eyes widen, and in an instant, he was turned to slurry. There I was. Covered in blood and bile. Oh, the small oh chunks of grace are spilling into the heart. I don't Here, know. I felt the presence. Today, okay. we discuss SC. Okay, before we go here, I'm just going to go over here, do this, four. <laughs> I don't think we need to burst out that not being four. They changed a lot of the article. Yeah. 480. Don't forget to subscribe. Dr. Narvaez conducted a second incursion, accompanied by agents Lightbody and Goldstein, to ascertain what had happened to Giuseppe. After administering the DMT, the building immediately entered a state of decay with fecal matter and blood what? everywhere. What? In the living room, written on the wall, it says, He is dreaming war. Aditum will rise. What? They searched the basement, and upon the far wall what? was a yellow symbol, appearing to float in thin air. The wall faded away, and a set of stairs descended down. As Narvaez descended, her colleagues reported that she vanished straight through the wall. <clears throat> upon her persuasion, they followed her through. They descended the stone stairs into a moist tunnel-like structure with oozing walls. The tunnel divided into branching smaller oh, right. tunnels. They uh, took the nearest left. I they actually did look at the mission logs. Oh, they actually did. Yeah, I was like briefly deciding to look, and the first one mentions a man mowing his lawn at midnight. See, and can't get any sleep through the people. Okay, we got that. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to see the dead dog. I see that one. 
I'm trying to see if any of the others are in here. I don't see anything about the others so far. Don't see anything about that. Ancient Grayson's dead, but wait, they didn't see how he died so far. Uh, wait, no, he did. There, I did. I didn't see it. Okay, so the three dogs at the beginning, they didn't, they weren't there. I didn't see anything about the hallway. That wasn't there. Okay, so some of it is... <sighs> Give me a moment. Oh my gosh, Discord. Oh wait, I didn't disconnect. <laughs> I thought I disconnected. But um, the, oh. the three dogs, I didn't see them. I didn't see the weird hallway thing. Or the message. So they did add gross <laughs> shit. It's was oh yeah when they did yeah, TNT and everything with the shit they didn't, they it didn't state that either. <laughs> Where did they get Jack TNT from? Okay, I'm gonna quickly skim through. So far through all the logs, I don't see anything that suggests that they got extra information from doing drugs. Mysterious will appetize dealing with the Nami Science senses. One capable of creating fascinating, fascinating really. This one not turn tangible. Request access to the DMT. Mysterious of human perception yielded results from DMT. A request has been filed and awaiting proper authorization. Which means no, it hasn't been given yet. Oh, wait. No, yes, it yeah. is. DME testing one. Okay, so they did do DNA, DME testing. Okay, let's see, making sure. They're talking about the people walking around, but... Actually, so far... Okay, I'm so still... So far reading these logs, uh... I, I don't see anything that shows that they interacted with aggression directly. Or yeah. Not directly. Also, where did Giuseppe vanish to? Right. Oh wait, he is dreaming war at a temple rise. That that's there. Okay, so yeah, right here in um testing two, he is dreaming war at a temple rise. It it is in the article. Okay, so so it is showing less. They they didn't add as much as before, so we should probably come back to that. Cause we didn't look at that part. That's on our. That's our fault. So we didn't look through, but it doesn't show like them being aggressive. Not very much. Like it's like it's there, yes. But they're not like going after and kill. I will say, uh Giuseppe, it sounds like vanished out of existence. Yeah. <laughs> And they don't say how Grayson died. Alright. Alright. So we'll have to come back to the blood and gore. But the area that they're in now is not talked about. So there is added shit. Alright. Anyways, let's continue. Tunnel ...and soon came upon a rotted wooden door. They pushed through the door and came out of a shack in a field near the Bodfell estate, clear on the other side of town. Narvaeus saw the silhouette of a large humanoid coming through the fog, invisible to the other two, approximately four meters in height, pale, flabby flesh, large, tooth-filled mouth, no eyes, ears, or nostrils, three-fingered hands stained in blood and guts. It took Goldstein and disemboweled him in one swift move. The doctor and light body took off running, but the ground was shifting and moving. It had become flesh, skin, and pus. The ground opened up around light body and swallowed him whole. The last thing I heard was her screams and bones cracking. In response, what was that Jerry? I I was 
saying, why do they keep showing that character? <laughs> also, they keep adding violence where it's not there. Right. Honestly, I'm looking through the statements of uh, Dr. Narvius, and I have not yet seen anything that suggests uh, added aggression. Right. I mean, yes, it's a dangerous SCP, but that does not change that there's there's no direct violence reference. Yeah. Project Citra Acra was formed between the Foundation and the Global Occult Coalition. Oh, hey! Their job? To end SCP-2480 and whatever it represented. What? Twelve years of hard work that and heavy losses later, and they were able to we capture the Black Gum State and SCP-2480-1, right. a humanoid entity believed to lead and control SCP-2480. Wait, they, they said they couldn't find them. Yeah. Zero events through pheromones. Upon inspection and interview of SCP-2480-1, he was found to have no internal organs aside from heart, lungs, and brain, of which his pineal but gland is eight times larger than normal. Was that Jerry? Sorry, it's just I was about to say the same thing that you did before, in that they did not get that. They did not get them. Right. How can they touch them if they cannot access that that individual? Right. Is there something I'm missing? Let me just read through more of this. Alright, while you're doing that, I'll play a video. Is that alright? Yeah. Okay. Normal. He preferred to be addressed as Carsis Carvas. Upon interview, it soon became apparent that Carsis Carvas was actually Site Director Simon Oswald, who had disappeared years before. When asked how he obtained his powers, he stated it was a gift from Grand Carsis Ion, the founder of the Sarkic Empire. SCP-2480 is speculated to be a dimensional anomaly located in Massachusetts in a coastal and heavily forested town with just over 9,000 residents. SCP-2480 appears to be centered around Bodfell Manor, home of the late Cornelius P. Bodfell III, 1866 to 1952, a millionaire industrialist with an acute interest in the occult. Prior to his death, Bodfell was a leader of a secret society known as Aditum's Wake. Dismissed by the Foundation in 1932 as simply being a decadent upper-class social club, it has now been verified that GOC operatives intended to assassinate Person of Interest 93. As POL 93 was not discovered among the dead, it can be surmised that the GOC did not achieve their primary goal. 36 yeah. corpses were found scattered throughout the estate, eight of which were later identified as GOC operatives. Wait, hold on. Was it eight or seven? The article does bring up hooded figures, but they're hooded figures you do not see the faces of. Ah. And their outfits are poorly stitched together, leathers, and hides. Okay, so they did bring the GOC. I was wrong. It was eight, not seven. Okay. SCP-2480 is hypothesized to be a dimensional anomaly that cannot be directly perceived. This cognito oh God, God. effect <laughs> interferes with perception in such a way that only through the use of perception-altering chemicals and the direct and sustained observation of its effects on local reality May it be detected. The investigation of Bodfell Manor uncovered disconcerting evidence with regards to Cornelius P. Bodfell III and the organization known as Aditum's Wake. Based on several meticulously kept journals and a collection of photographs, 
Bodfell and his followers would frequently host orgies that included rape, pedophilia, <laughs> ritual human sacrifice, and cannibalism. Oh my Grand god! Hall they actually, they actually said it! I, I, Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I was, I was shocked because they're trying to monetize it. But if YouTube sees that they're not going to monetize it. They don't like those words. <laughs> but all right. Marble statue depicting an entity with a leonine head and veriform body. What? Is this what it's supposed to look like, Jerry? Well, no. If you read the description, it has the lion-like head and a worm-like body. Does that look like a worm-like body? No. <laughs> I think they did it backwards. <laughs> you know, it looks better backwards, but that's not what it describes. <laughs> right? It said Leon and then head, right? Leon yeah. And head? That, I think so. That's lion. Lion head. Oh, now we can look okay. Back at it. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, leonine head. And burnt milliform body. Meaning yeah. Worm body. Yeah. Worm body, lion head. Not lion body, worm head. Right. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> We're almost done with it. Of the Demiurge, also known as Yeldaboth, Saklas, or Samael. At the base of the statue, they were asked, mispronounced some of them, but okay. Desire is the measure of all things. Be unbound from moral tethers. Wait, hold on. They couldn't even try to draw the lion head and the body. Did they know that would look stupid? Okay. Just making sure they actually get the word right. Words Do right. as you will. To whom you will. The unfinished ritual is rumored to have been an attempt at bringing Yaldabaoth into our world. Alternatively, some say that Aditon's wake okay, was trying to break... Okay, I spotted one piece of aggression in the entire article so far. Okay, what was it? Well, you know, in the beginning of the video, how the doctor is drugged as fuck and seeing all sorts of weird shit? Yeah. Um, there, they did follow some of it, but it wasn't three dogs on a leash. They were creatures, uh, hmm, creatures on a, on a leash, but... It did not say what they were, only that the leech, it was made of intestines and the creatures had small unblinking eyes or mouth with several rows of needle-like teeth. Okay. And they're gibberish, they gibber madly and move in a frenzied pace. Yeah. They killed the runt. Damn. All right. Let's continue and finish it but off. It did not sound like dogs. Yeah. Alright. In Grand Carsis Ion, back to our world. Whichever it was, the GOC failed their attempt to assassinate Person of Interest 93, Grand Carsis Ion. That's true. By interrupting this ritual, they opened a dimensional rift which allowed nightmarish invisible creatures into our world. Ion then bestowed Simon Oswald with the power to control these nightmarish creatures. That actually is the picture a in the article. Army for conquest. The rift was finally closed and is considered neutralized since the capture of Oswald. However, another similar situation has arisen in Romania. Click like, subscribe, and turn- They actually included the last bit of the article, because I did double check that. Like at the very end, the last addendum, it did state that there was an incident in Romania. Investigation is currently ongoing. All right, so now we go back to the to this removal of characters and license. 
Well, we get, they didn't remove the license. They didn't remove the license to most of the things, but they did not reference any of the characters they took from other SCP creators. Yeah. Do I accept the video recordings? I mean, I did state that none of these videos are mine, if that's what you mean. I, no, no, like not earlier. you. Oh. The, the, the person we're reviewing, remember? They used yeah. multiple characters that were not theirs, like Connor, and they did not show the license, they did not uh, do anything. You mean recommendations? I mean, if we have time after these SCPs, and you have a content form video you want us to see, I can. I, I would definitely do it. Oh, you're looking in the, the Twitch chat. chat. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, removal of characters in life is okay. They kept a lot of the characters. I'm not counting added characters. That'll be deviates from the plot of the article. That'll be in that category. But, uh, removal of characters and license. Well... I feel like they did still remove some characters. Yeah, it just not as many. Well, if you notice, the only characters they removed were the female ones. Besides one. Yeah. I somehow feel like that makes it worse and... They yeah. didn't remove that many characters, but the ones they removed were female. Yeah. Well, I mean, we also gotta put zero for only men in a few, because they did add some female characters. They, they added, yeah, like... Yeah. They added one character. I mean, sorry, not characters. One, one woman, when there's more than one woman... So are you thinking a three or a two? Three. Three. Added gore and so, let's be honest. Yeah. It's, they may have referenced the license for the articles, but they didn't reference the characters. They totally washed over that. Yeah. Added gore or violence. Four. <laughs> Four. They did. They added a lot of aggressive things that weren't there. Deviates weren't applied in the article. I will say four for this too, mainly because majority of the beginning they're at the end of the article. Then they went to the middle. Then they went to the very top. Then they went back down near the end. Also, in intermesh and all of that, they added their own shit. And yeah, a lot of violence and a lot of visuals that even if you read through the article, it's not all there. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Trying to connect. What? What happened? Maybe, uh... Google is so upset by it, it's trying to get its head around it. Well, it's 25%. <laughs> oh, dear. It, it, yeah, because those four add up 75. Oh. It looks like you're offline. You're talking to turn on. Turn on. Cancel. I am not offline. Where did you get offline from? Maybe refresh it? Because yeah. you're clearly not offline. Reload. Alright, well, we already know the numbers. Yeah, also four and... Probably have to do one at a time. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Twenty-five. Oof. Oof. That was a big drop. Yeah. 